Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing Zentangle leads. So let's get going. Alright, so for this project in particular, um, we're just gonna be drawing a really big leaf and then dividing it into certain sections, and then we could do different patterns in each of them. So this is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna have a couple leaves here as an example. So I glued them to uh, one side of my sketchbook so I could see offhand. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is just create the uh, base. So in our case will be the stem. So I'm just going to create kind of like a rectangular formation and a little bit more, not as perfect of a rectangle. And then I'm going to go out a little bit on each side. So maybe do maybe a zigzag here and then a zigzag there. Okay. So it fans out a little bit. I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to try to make it as symmetrical as I can from each side to another. All right, next step, I'm gonna create the first branching part of the leaf. So maybe go up maybe two or three times, then go back maybe one or two times. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side, maybe three times, then go back maybe one or two times. There we go. And then finally, I'm gonna go up, curve it a little bit. And then we're gonna meet at a point. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't, <laughs> it's okay. All right, it kind of worked. All right, that's pretty organic, right? It looks kind of goofy right now and it's kind of lopsided, but uh, it'll get the job done basically. <laughs> so let's get going. So let's divide it up into certain sections. Um, so here we go. Why don't I divide the um, stem to its own section right there? Maybe I can divide this into its own section like that. Maybe I'll go like this. Maybe another one right here. Like that. I can probably go up over here. We divide this section right here, and let's do one more for good measure. Why don't we go from here to there? All right, so now, as you can see, I have a couple sections here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I want you guys to at least do six different sections. If you guys can do more, that's perfect. So let's go and do some patterns, and um, I'm going to use this examples right here as inspiration. So I'm going to do my patterns in marker. You can do your patterns in card pencil, crayon, anything you want. So let me just take a few colors out for starting out. Oh, apologize. Sorry. Itchy nose. All right, so I have a couple colors here. I'll put it beside me like this. And let's get started. So, so far I see a couple here um, that I want to do. So maybe I want to do a zigzag. So I'll do a couple zigzags here and there. And then for this side in particular, maybe I'll alternate going yellow, orange, yellow, orange. That'd be pretty cool. And I got that idea from one of the examples that I glued onto the other side of the page. And I liked it so much that I wanted to copy it. Pretty cool. There we are. Oh, a little sloppy. No, it's okay though. All right, let's do another one. Why don't I do another pattern? This time, I think I might want to do checkers. I'll do checkers in the middle. So I'm going to do a couple stripes here, and then a couple stripes the opposite direction to create the squares in there. And once I got my squares in there, I can start coloring it accordingly. So why don't I start using the colors that I want to? Then we'll do some greens. So I'll go diagonally. There we go. A little imperfect, but that's okay. And then I'll go s the other direction like this. Just like so. Ah, I messed up. <laughs> it's okay. Mistakes happen. All right, why don't I go with another color? Oh, this is a nice color. Peach. Okay, this one should have been peach, but it's okay. All right, let's do another section. Let's do wavy lines. We'll do wavy lines. Woo! There you go. Nice and cool wavy lines. And since I said cool, I want to make them blue. Here's a blue one. Here's another blue one. Of the inside of that. 
there we are. And there's one more on the bottom there. All right, there we are. I can color the opposite end a different color. And I choose pink. There we are. Okay. Let's do another section. Why don't we do polka dot? So you can do your patterns in pencil if you'd like. You don't have to do it in marker. Um, I'm just doing it so, I've always said this before, uh, so it turns out better on camera because it's very hard to see me drawing in pencil. And I've learned that over the years that I've recorded myself. So uh, I shall remember to always do it in marker instead. All right, there we go. Let's finish this in the section off right here. All right. And then I think I might want to do the actual parts on the inside. Um, let's see, would this color work? No, it's too dark. Pink work. That yeah, pink will probably work best, even though I used pink already. But it's further enough from the other pattern that it wouldn't matter. There we are. Great. Let me try another one. Why do I do rainbow? Very pretty cool. Red. Orange. Yellow. patterns can I do? I haven't done stripes yet, believe it or not. I guess the rainbow does count, but I officially haven't done stripes, so why don't I do curve lines? That'd be pretty neat. Okay, I don't think I've tried brown yet, so why don't we do brown? There we are. Turning out pretty neat. go. Alright, I think I might want to mix dark uh, orange. I haven't used this type of orange before and I missed a brown spot. There you go. My bad. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, there we go. And other side. Alright, let's try to think of some other patterns here. Um, Loop-de-loops. I think I could do it up here. While I'm at it, I might as well do another one with a free hand. Why don't I do, hmm, what haven't I done yet? There's so many patterns that I haven't done, so I guess I'll do my own. I guess I haven't done, no. What should I do? I guess I'll do this kind. I haven't done that kind of pattern yet. Oh. All right, so why don't we finish this off? I want to do kind of this color actually. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Look at that. Good choice. Good choice in color. Okay. 
This one's actually pretty hard to color because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and I don't know where the colors are supposed to go. I kind of just like guess. Um, what color would go good with that? Um, let's try teal, I guess? It's an interesting color to choose. There we are. Okay. One more to go. Why don't I do orange? Coloring in circle. It's difficult. <laughs> and then let's do brown again. Looks like my brown marker is running out. Or I'm coloring too fast. Alright, there we go. Okay, um, I think I'm done <laughs> with my Zentangle leaf. And I don't know how long that took me, like 10 minutes or so, or five minutes. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Sorry, I can't talk. All right, bye.